All right, so we're about to use our Calicrate Pro Bander to dehorn Miss Violet. The Calicrate Pro Bander is said to um, take off horns up to three inches in diameter. I would say hers are probably two ish around the base. Yeah. yeah, around the base. So, um, um, it can take up to two months, but we're going to walk you through what we're going to do and let you guys know in the future if they fall off or when they fall off. <laughs> well, the roosters are crowing, gonna rise and shine. Daylight's a burning, ain't got a lot of time. When the day is over and the work's all done, we'll sing and dance and have a little fun. So, like I was saying uh, about the calicrate bander, and if you didn't, if you cut them off, you have to fill in the sinus cavity. Mm -hmm. The thing with banding it, it allows the bone, the horn to form over and actually seal off that cavity, which is why we want to go that route as well. Absolutely. Less invasive and better. Now, I know this is very controversial, and a lot of people are like, well, why are you taking them off? What's the big deal? Violet's a sassy cow. <laughs> she has a sassy attitude, and she slings that head a lot. She knows she has her horns. Um, and we want to do it for the safety for our family and the fact that we want to keep this family milk cow for her life. Like, I love her and I want to keep her for a long time, so I certainly don't want any accidents to me or my children or Samuel um, in the future. All right, so what Samuel's doing is he's working on, we've got three carabiners attached to her halter in three different spots. And the first thing he's going to do is he's going to tie the bottom one down so that she cannot, we don't want to remove her head because we've got to be able to get that rubber band around the horn and down all the way to the base so that it heals back over the sinus cavity. She's still munching her alfalfa and she's still happy about her alfalfa, although she is frustrated with us because she's sassy. <laughs> she's going to take that horn and she's going to hit him as much as she can. That's why you see how she also, she's moving her head and trying to use that horn to hit him. So she does not like being tied down. Nobody does, right? Um, but you can see how she's moving her head and try to push her horns one way or the other because she knows that that helps her get out of situations she doesn't want to be in. All right, so he's already put the green band around her horn right here. And what you want to do is get it down as close to the base as you can. It probably would be easier if we had shaved her hair, to be honest. Yeah, it probably would have. Just you want to get it down here without rolling it. And then as what you're going to do is start. Possible. Cranking it up here. Like now you'll start seeing the silver piece start moving. It's okay. gonna probably just roll anyway because that's you're supposed to put it on it without rolling. Right. Um, and it just broke. Just hit. But what I'm saying is, I just turn this around the other way. Just move. What are you? I'm confused. Now she can't hit the. Oh, that was smart. Okay, yeah, that was smart. That's what you're but I can hold it down right here. Okay. That's where it's got to go. So now it's fully tight. How do you know it's fully tight? Because I can see. Okay, okay. Woo! Okay. Woo, oh, that was nerve wracking. All right, so that was a little bit nerve wracking, but Samuel said you got it. As tight as I could. As tight as it could go. So that was as tight as this one gets. And then he just snapped it shut. I hope Kel got it. I know, you see. could see towards the end when it's getting tight, how she acted, how it was. Yeah, it, it is gonna be uncomfortable for her. And I'm not saying it's not. That's why we're good, doing it in good weather, um, colder weather, so we don't worry about flies and all that. So, um, you know, it's gonna be uncomfortable for her, but I think it's gonna be better in the long run. Okay, Whew. Violet's definitely not happy with us. We undid her, but I was trying to let her, she's trying to get these rubber bands off, as you can tell. <laughs> um, but it's gonna be uncomfortable for a day or two, but hopefully this will get better. <laughs> so I'm trying to get in the video here. Um, well, so you can see Violet, she's shaking her head a lot. She's, she's agitated, agitated um, which we knew would happen. So um, she's not very happy with us at all, so. Probably need to watch. 
So as we were saying, so she's agitated. Um, Joey's kind of like, what's wrong with you, mom? Joey's fine over his banding now. He's kind of gotten used to it. He just wants it. more milk. He just wants more milk. And, um, you know, I, I know this is super painful for them, but, you know, we just bud all of our goats. And if she were younger, we totally would have disbudded her. But because she's older, she's three. Um, and we'd be, we'd be disbudding Joey right now if we were going to keep him. But Joey um, is destined to feed our family um, this uh, summer. So, you know, uh, it's, it's one of these things that it's a, a hard livestock owner thing to do. Because you don't ever want to hurt your animals, but you also have to stay safe when you're working with your animals. So, um, thanks so much for watching, y'all. We really appreciate it. Please subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And we'll see you next time.